What's up, people? It's another beautiful day. Hot one. It's hot. But uh, let me just get right into it. So, I don't know if y'all know. Here we go again, man. I don't know if y'all know. The 13th of this month, they arrested a man in Walmart for threats. That's right. Threatening Walmart that he was going to shoot up the place. Talking to customers, saying he was going to shoot up the place, right? Threatening, threatening people at Walmart. This was the 13th of this month, or the 14th. So it was on a Wednesday. Threatening people he was going to shoot up the place, and he got arrested. Right? So he gets arrested. The man gets arrested. Guess what he says? He said it didn't matter if they arrested him. That he had more people coming. You know what I'm saying? He had more people coming to arrest him. This people from at Walmart telling me this. This people that work at Walmart telling me this. So, you know, I looked I tried to look it up. I didn't find nothing on it on the on uh you know, the Revive Leaders, I'm sure you could find it. But uh yeah, I man, he was making threats. Making threats, saying that he was gonna shoot up the Walmart. Alright, said he had more people. Didn't matter if if they arrested him, said he had more people coming. I'm just saying, if you go to Walmart, you need to be careful, man. Don't don't uh um don't be out here thinking shit is okay. This shit this shit is happening more and more every day. Like people don't got nothing better to do, just be trigger happy. And not only that, I'm sure everybody else knows schools. The schools ain't your kids ain't even safe, man. Your kids ain't even safe. They they ain't they been that safe, you know what I'm saying? Look, that's this shit's been going on. These school shootings have been going on more than the Walmart shootings. Your kids ain't been safe for a long time, man. I can't I don't even trust my my kid going to a uh, daycare, you know. I've been thinking about it, but really, you know, I don't even trust daycare. <clears throat> you can't even trust how can you trust daycare, you know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe I maybe I, Maybe I'm paranoid or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I just have a hard time just leaving my kid with somebody I don't know, you know? Just, uh... And the, and the thing is, you know, it's been it's been a pretty big deal about the, the school shootings, for sure, here in Russellville. People have been making threats for the Russellville School District. They don't, you know, the crazy thing is they don't even know which, which school they just saying uh, it could be anyone. They don't know, and they say they even give a specific date, a specific fucking date. Sorry about cussing, but a specific date, the 29th, which is not too far away. A couple of days, that's like that's Thursday. You know, the 29th. They saying that that's when some shit's gonna pop off. Can you believe that? And then even and even though the schools are knowing about it, I'm hearing that some some uh, some parents are complaining that there's not even more security at the school. When I was going to school, we at least had a, a, a what you call it, an officer, a school officer. He didn't do nothing, but shit, he was there. If some if some stuff was to go off, he would be there. But they they saying that they don't even see a school officer there. What's going on with that? Why are these kids get, keep getting shot? Why do you gotta ask yourself that? Why does shit keep going on? And everybody wants to say the solution, right? Is to uh, get rid of the guns, right? Don't do that. Do not, do not take, don't, don't take away your Second Amendment. I don't even, look. I don't even, I don't even own a gun. I've never owned a gun. I've shot a few. You know what I'm saying? Just with some homies, you know, we were drinking. We shot the beer bottles, you know, from afar. But as far as owning one, nah, it ain't me. It's never been me. If you know me, it's never been me. I never cared about guns. None of that. I've seen plenty. I just, I don't. But even then, you know, even then, I was t I'm was. i telling you right now, I wouldn't give up your gun. I would not give up your gun. I just wouldn't, like... I can sit here and tell you the reasons all day, but in the end, you know, you got to do your own little research. I could tell you, but you're going to sit here and look at me like I'm crazy. You may already think I'm crazy, but look, the thing is, man, you look, this is the worst time to have kids. 
This is the worst day and age to have a kid. Your kids are not safe at school. Kids are getting ha forget the shootings. Kids are getting hazed on a daily. Kids are one committing suicide from other kids. From other from other kids, man. That's just besides shootings, right? But now the shooting now add the shootings in that. Imagine, man, being, I'm glad I'm not in school. Like, imagine being a school, uh, uh, going to school now. Imagine going to school right now. And not knowing if you're going to get shot, killed at school. For doing homework. For, for, for doing what you're supposed to do. For, you ain't, for doing nothing. For just being, for living. You, you, you can get shot at school. That's crazy. But let me tell you, man, don't get, don't, do not give up your, your second amendment, man. That's law. That's written in stone. That's supposed to be written in stone. That's on the Constitution. Do not give up your Second Amendment. <laughs> People say, because look, every time something like this happens, right? Think about it. Every time they talk about shootings or a shooting happens, a mass shooting happens, they, they always say, oh, uh, gun laws, gun laws. I wasn't the best student in school, right? I wasn't the best student, but I was pretty good at history. History, it don't, it don't change. Right? When you talk about all that stuff that happened in the past, it don't change. So when you go back in history and you look at what happened to all what happened to uh you know, to other other countries when they enforce gun laws, look what happened. Look what happened. Look at Germany, you know, before World War Two, they enforced gun laws. They enforced gun laws there. And war but right before World War Two and then what happened? Jews, the Jews got, hey, what happened to the Jews? They enforced the gun laws there. Look, hey, you got to do your own history. You got to look up your own history and find out for yourself. I can sit here and tell you all day, you know, you ain't, you wouldn't, they ain't going to make you believe me, but you have to do the research yourself, you know. If you go and look what happened with gun laws, look what happened. I'm not trying to, uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling you how it is, man. Don't give up your gun laws or your gun rights. And I don't even own guns. If you're a street nigga, you got guns, keep them. If you're a hunter, you got guns, keep them. If you just keep, got a gun, just to have it, just keep it. Keep your guns. Dude. Don't don't give up your gun rights. You know what I'm saying? Do not give up your gun rights. These people are getting guns illegally. That ain't, you know what I'm saying? Or at gun shows and stuff. Just selling them from auctions and stuff. You know, and then it's easy to get... It's easy to... Uh, Somehow they're getting them off lines and stuff. But don't it ain't gonna fix it won't fix nothing. What's gonna have to happen is you just have to make it harder to get a gun. But what's crazy to me, when these people are ordering this stuff online, the FBI don't see that? You know, somebody trying to buy an AK? The FBI don't see that? I'm just asking the question. The FBI like, come on, man. Like, the FBI I don't see that. But if I was to go, if I was going online, Google right now, how to, how to buy AK. I bet you, I bet you right now they'd be at my door. I'm just saying how it is. I'm just saying how it is, man. This, I can't even. I don't even want my man. I'm gonna have to home. I'm gonna have to figure out something. Homeschooling or something, man. I don't trust these schools. I don't trust these teachers. I don't have too many bad experiences with teachers going to school anyway. I'm not gonna lie. Some of them care. I'm not. I mean, a lot of them care. I see some teachers now. I got. I go see them, but I've had some teachers that really just don't care either. You know, they just there to it's their job. But uh, yeah, man, I, I'm gonna go ahead and stop stop rambling. You know, I just want people to be careful. I want the kids to be careful. Be careful at school. Be careful at Walmart. Be careful wherever you go. Look, or look at your surroundings, man. Don't ever let your... In this day and age, you cannot let your guard down. You cannot let your guard down. You just never know. Somebody probably packing. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about getting a gun. And I just told you, I don't even. I don't even care for guns like that. <laughs> I don't even care about guns like. That. I'm thinking about getting a gun. Fuck, you like I don't want to be caught. 
Man, just be careful, people. That's all I really got to say. You know, just... I don't even know, man. Just... If, your kid, if, you, if, if you're a parent and your kid got a phone, I'll be checking on them, you know, every two hours, every hour. You know what I'm saying? Just let you know, just check on them, man. You just don't even know, man. They saying that they give a specific date. They real confident. They real fucking... They real confident. I'm trying not to cuss. They real confident, though. They saying exactly what date they going to come. They say the 29th of this month. What's today? Right? That's this week. That's this week. So, hey, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to keep y'all informed about what I keep hearing from the grapevine. These are people that work at Walmart. These are parents that that take their school, you know, they know me and it's, it's getting relayed to me. It's getting it's getting relayed back to me. So, just be careful. And I'm out. Oh, and uh, I got a video coming out um, uh, Tuesday. You know, I I go to Forza sometime. They got the free the free boxing at Forza. You know, I'm gonna put out a little video of me sparring. Have a, probably try try to get an interview with one of the boxers there. You know, or one of the guys there. Hey, go to Forza, man. It's it's a uh, they got free boxing there. If you're a kid or adult, you know, just want to try and get in some shape, want to learn a new craft, want to learn something new, go to Forza. They got free boxing there. Great people there, nice people, you know. They got gloves, they got the gloves, they got the hair gear for you. You gotta buy a mouthpiece. Mouthpiece is only five bucks. You can buy it there. Five bucks. But uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have another video here in a little bit about uh some touchy stuff here in Russellville too. But anyway, I'm gonna get up out of here. Bye.